So Man United are back in action. The pre-season is underway and it got underway with a 2-0 win over Perth Glory. A goal from Marcus Rashford and a great hit from Jimmy Garner gave us a comfortable 2-0 win. But the, it wasn't about the result today. It was about seeing all the players back in action, seeing new signings, Dan James and Aaron Wan-Bissaka, seeing the likes of Mason Greenwood, Jimmy Garner, Angel Gomez, all the players coming in. And seeing what Solskjaer is building, because this is the first time, this is Solskjaer's first summer as United manager. Let's see what he's trying to do. But from the first half, one team, second half, completely different team. That first half, for me, it was all about seeing what Dan James could do. And he really showed that. I thought it was a very strong cameo from Dan James. Yes, it's against Perth Glory, but you can still see the intent from him straight away. Out of possession, running around, making it impossible for defenders to have time on the ball. And it was part of that high intense press that United were playing. I hope we keep that up. That was a real key part of that first half with Lingard and with Dan James. And United's attack made it impossible for Perth Glory to play out from the back. And it was good to see. But Dan James himself made loads of intelligent runs in behind, which didn't really get seen by Ashley Young. But when he got Paul Pogba playing with Dan James and he does see those balls in behind, it's going to make Dan James a very hard player to defend against. I thought most of his decision making was good. His runs were exciting and his pace was frightening. Clearly, he's going to be hard to defend against. I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do for United next year. And Tuan Zebi in that first half as well. For me, he has to get an opportunity in this first team next season. It's as simple as that. He's better than Phil Jones. I would argue he's smarter and a more intelligent footballer than Chris Smalling. He's certainly better than Marcus Rojo. And I play him comfortably alongside Victor Lindelof. And I'd probably put him ahead of Everett Bailly. Eric Bailly, sorry, who... Just the injuries make him so inconsistent. But he deserves a real opportunity next year. And United in that first half, you know, for all our possession, it got a little bit frustrating because Perth Glory was sitting so deep behind the ball, but that's what you would expect. And in that second half, the team completely switched. And Aaron wan came in. And again, just like Dan James, in that first half, you were hoping to see some exciting, fast runs from Dan James, intelligent movement, and we saw all of that. From wan we wanted to see clear crunching, tackling, good movement, and showing himself down the right flank. And he showed all of that. I think he completed four out of four tackles, clean tackles as well. wan is going to take our right flank up a massive level. It's been so bad for years, with wan Mata not really playing as a right winger, despite being a right... It makes no sense playing wan Mata on the right wing. He's not a right winger. And then you've had Ashley Young, Antonio Valencia, Matteo Darmian, all playing at right back. None of them offer the same sort of quality going, certainly in defence. Now, wan will have to work on him going on his game going forward, but that's part of developing as a young footballer. But we saw all the positive signs, I feel, from wan that we wanted to today. And the same goes for Dan James. I think both of them are going to be very happy with their debuts. Solskjaer will certainly be happy with their debuts. And he'll certainly be happy with Marcus Rashford as well for that goal that he scored. Popper with a flick through. Rashford on the turn, on his left foot, right into the bottom corner. A clinical finish. And that's what United need this season. We need Rashford, Martial, hopefully not Sanchez, hopefully he's sold. And if Lukaku goes, who comes in? But Greenwood, he had an opportunity today. Very unlucky not to score. But Rashford with that clinical finish on the left foot. We need Rashford to up his game this year. And Martial to massively up his game. Greenwood is clearly going to come in and be given more opportunities by Solskjaer. He's already made that clear. And today I think he played well. I think him, I thought Gomez, I thought Chong in the first half as well. There were some exciting players there. And then Jimmy Garner came on, in, made a cameo, scored a cracking goal. And United desperately need to find an alternative to the Manny Matic this year. So that's the perfect thing that Garner could have done. Put his name in the spotlight. And he'll be very happy with that. Pogba, he came in and made a difference. There's a lot of positive reasons to be happy about that 2-0 win. Number one, I said Dan James's cameo. Very good. Number two, Aaron wan cameo, also very good. Number three, Marcus Rashford's finish. But for me, I think the most exciting part of that was seeing the intense press that United had in that first half. Everybody pressed as a team and United need that. And we couldn't do that last year under Solskjaer towards the end because the players simply weren't fit enough. That's something I think that Solskjaer is going to be drumming into his team this year. That's why fitness is so important. It's what made Liverpool into the team they are now under clock. Very hard to play out from the back with the ball when you're playing against a team who's pressing as a team. And we did in that first half. A little bit less so in the second half. But the positive signs are there. We've got Leeds up next. 
but Dan James and Aaron wan have both made their debuts. Are you excited about that? What positives or what negatives are you taking away from that game? Let me know in the comments below, as always.